Hey, what is up guys? Tyler here with Secure Team, and uh, we have a few different fascinating things that I want to discuss with you guys today. The first of which is this new footage coming out of India, where by all accounts they are in a panic as to why their roads and their surrounding land are cracking and fissuring despite the denials from local officials stating that there is no earthquake fault and that there is nothing to worry about. And well, I gotta tell you, the local residents of this area are not buying it and do indeed feel within their bones at a very basic level that something is happening underground. And so, thanks to a report here by strangesounds.org, we have some more information, some new images, some uh, videos posted online that have been gathered together. You've been seeing those here. And the area with which this is happening, what's well, happening near something called the Palavaram construction site, and where now officials are blaming these giant cracks opening up in the ground as due to, quote, changes in the atmosphere and decrease in the humidity in the mud or truck transport for destroying the road. But residents felt tremors as the road cracked down. And a look at the images below, I doubt you'll see that such destruction was caused by, quote, changes in the atmosphere and a decrease in the humidity in the mud, with most of these locals already beginning to see some sort of cover story being put out here by the local officials. And so on November 3rd, it began where tremors had begun being reported near the multi-purpose Palavaram Irrigation Project site, where following the incident, split open roads up to one kilometer down the way. People started panicking when the approach road leading to the project site started cracking up as well at around 8.30 a.m. the next day. Drivers of the lorries operating on the road abandoned their vehicles and ran away, fearing that an earthquake may have struck the area. And where it could be seen, some four to five to six feet deep cracks uh, on the road and up to a half a kilometer from the checkpoint. And however, when contacted, the project site engineer clarified that there were no tremors and that the roads have simply developed uh, the cracks due to vibrations from the heavy vehicles that are being operated in the area and there's no need to panic. And well, that was the first official explanation. According to reports, nearly 25 villages in this area of the east and west also lost power supply as several electric poles were uprooted during the uh, melee. And officials once again denied any rumors of earthquake shaking, saying that, quote, there is no threat to the job site, no tremors have been recorded, and that cracks have been found on the road were a result of, quote, changes in the atmosphere and the humidity in the mud. This would quickly become known as the second official explanation. So the first explanation was that it was their own tools that were creating vibrations. The next one is that, well, it's the atmosphere changing this and, and causing this to fall apart for kilometers in every direction. And as many of you would probably guess, if I was a villager down in this area, I would be wondering what the heck is going on? Why is the ground coming out from underneath us in villages surrounding this project site? You're having multiple cover stories put out. None of them make sense. It definitely appears from what I've seen and read and have watched from these uh, social media posts from people actually there, they do not believe the official stories being told. So could this very well link to these massive rumblings underground where the earth is being split open in every single corner of the globe? And maybe by then we will have maybe a third or fourth excuse that they are now using to calm down the locals. And I can only imagine what those excuses will be made up of. So time will tell, but I hope everyone is safe. Something certainly strange is happening with Mother Earth, and uh, I'm going to continue documenting it like I have this past year. The strange lights, the, the rumblings, the massive booms in the sky, and the feeling almost as if something is being built underground, whether it be through massive tunneling systems being created, heavy machinery, that's what it feels like, and that's what the residents all over the world are echoing in their descriptions 
of what is happening. So stay tuned for more information about this, whatever is happening in India. And next, I would like to show you guys some more footage on the UFO front. If you haven't seen my most recent video, we were going through a number of different strange video captures, and today I have a couple of more, um, both of which surround one of my favorite UFOs to document, if I can, because it's so elusive, and that, of course, is the capturing of the fabled TR-3B Black Manta, otherwise known as the TR-3B, which is said to be a very secretive anti-gravity craft that was actually built by the government using extraterrestrial back-engineered technology that gives it the very ability to propel and fly using Earth's gravity. We've documented it countless times, and we have a new video here of yet another one of these mystery dark triangles that was captured hovering in the sky uh, when it became clear thanks to a few glowing dots that took the very shape that we are all familiar with. So check this out. There's my lady. Oh, I had her. There she is, coming in hot. And as clear as a bell out, I can see her. But... There she is. See how... I'm on half zoom, so she's coming in pretty fast. I don't know why I call her me lady. Well, many, many reasons. Long, long, long story. Now I'm seeing it. It looks white in here, but I see orange. She normally comes in from the west. Oh my God, there's three of them. They just turned into three of them. Oh my God, they're flying in a triangle position. Holy shit, you see that? Whoa. You cannot see that with your eyes, I can tell you that. I'm not even close to full zoom. The one turned into three. Now it's got one on each side of it. That one red light turned into three. It's got two on each side. Holy shit. Oh yeah, we're gonna have a... You guys picking up, I hope? <laughs> I love y'all, you know that. Hello. I guess the other two are in the tree. Definitely can't see them without this. Barely at that. As it gets closer, I have to back up a bit. Assuming position for the evening. All right, let's see what we got. Got anything up here already? Okay, so this was captured in northeast Pennsylvania, where originally they just witnessed this sort of one glowing white orb sitting up in the distance in the sky. And as they started zooming in and out, the closer they got, in fact, is when they began picking up two other faint glowing lights that once taking, you know, a few steps back, revealed the true scale of just what exactly they were watching in the sky and what took the shape of a massive black triangle very similar to the TR-3Bs. Now, having just watched this footage, I'd like to show you guys another piece of footage that uh, we broke here uh, exclusively on Secure Team. Uh, it's, uh, in my opinion, one of the best pieces of uh, video evidence proving that these things are out there, these triangular-shaped craft, anti-gravity systems, whether they're ours, whether they are something from out there in space, they are here, and... This footage was published by a secure team a couple of years back where a man had gone out onto his back porch to smoke a cigarette. It was late at night, and as he was sitting there smoking, he said that he had just had this sort of strange idea, or feeling, if you will, that there was something out there in the sky watching him. Something just lingering there that, although he couldn't see, he could feel, and it stayed with him. The entire time he stood out on his porch smoking. He couldn't see anything though, it was so dark. So he got it on video, and then he sent it to me, and all we did was increase the contrast and the brightness 
to just kind of give us an idea of what we were actually seeing in that sky and when we did so and sent it back to him well he was stunned to find out that not only was he right in feeling that something was sitting there right very close to him but a bit in the distance but that it was also a massive triangular craft which at a few different points would flash these three bright lights around each corner before finally and slowly turning away and slowly making its way into the distance before vanishing altogether. Okay, so as you just saw there, we have the original version, which is totally dark. You can't make anything out except the one point where we see the, the lights flash, the one light flash on each of the corners of the object. When we increase the uh, contrast, bring it up a bit, then we can really see what's out there, and it's clear as day that there is a three-dimensional triangular object with shadowing, with light reflecting off of it, sitting up in the sky right in the direction that this man felt that there was something sitting up there. So I've said it before and it's been a few years since then and I've, and I've reviewed many other pieces of footage with TR-3Bs in them but I still would have to say that this would be my favorite because it encompasses so many of the characteristics of these objects, their ability to sit still in sky and defy gravity, be completely silent because why would you need any sort of mechanical parts or wings or engines when you are using anti-gravity tech which adds to its silence uh, the lights on each corner the fact that the object is so massive and can swiftly turn on a dime and begin slowly and quietly making its way into the distance before finally vanishing altogether uh, it's just an amazing clip and that is what reminded me of this new clip where once again and up to years later in 2018 we are seeing these mystery black triangles in the sky once again their purpose and reason for being in the skies hovering there observing doing recon we just don't know they have been here since the beginning People always talk about, well, when is this big alien invasion supposed to come? Well, my friends, the invasion already came and happened thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of years ago. They have already been here. Before you were born, they will be here long after we are all gone. 
the point here is to document them to document what we know is here so with that you guys know who i am stay safe and i will see you all back in just a bit